Hello. Okay, another one in the series, My Thoughts. I don't know which one to choose. Okay, Joe. Joe says, um, Bro, what is your thoughts on capital punishment and also recreational drug use and the legislation of that? Um, that's from Joe. Okay, my thoughts on capital punishment. Joe, do you know what? I don't think we'd, we go far enough in this country. I really don't think we go far enough. Um, I can give you just one for instance, but there's millions out there. Where I used to live, um, my sister's boys had a friend um, who seemed like a nice little boy and all the rest of it. When he grew up, um, he was a prolific rapist and child abuser. Nobody knew. Nobody. He did that for years and years and years. In fact, 17 years. And this is in the press, you know. Um, eventually, he got caught and he got put inside um, and he got life because some of his crimes were, well, in fact, all of them were awful, but some were terrible. I don't want to go into too much, but terrible. So he got life. Now, life is 15 years which is ridiculous, because he served a year or two on remands, that's four years or three years off of his 15, taking him down to about 12. So really, he's inside for 10 years, but with good behaviour, it'd be seven or eight. Not good enough. It's not good enough. He's ruined lives, and that is not good enough, as far as I'm concerned. Now, new things have come new um, cases that have been brought against him um, and things like that uh, including they've just found out that he raped a two-year-old baby during that 17 year old uh, 17 years um, and another thing um, a 14 year old girl he picked up a 14 year old girl took her to a flat in a local town and had her gang raped by himself and two others he has never released their names. He won't say who they are or anything like that. So there's two men out there, two child abusing bastards, two evil paedophilic bastards out there, and he won't give their names up. Um, that girl's life is ruined forever, isn't it? Forever. So her life sentence is a life sentence. Uh, anyway, got five years for that five extra years and even if he did the five years is not good enough uh, capital punishment anyway I think if you if you rape somebody if you murder somebody if you're a terrorist you know all the big crimes um, then we should be severe on these people you know I'm actually in favor of bringing back hanging but bringing back hanging um, I think there should be three trials. Say say somebody like this guy, for instance, right? Prolific rapist and child abuser. He's had, um, he's been into court, he's had the jury, he's had the judge, he's had all that stuff, right? So you do all that once and it's proven that he's guilty. So he's put inside. Six months later, you should bring him back out to a fresh jury with a fresh judge, fresh information, all the rest of it and see how people find him then. And if he's found guilty again the second time, which he would be, then he's put inside again for a further six months. The third time he comes out with another fresh judge and fresh information and fresh jurors and fresh everything else, if he's found guilty again for the third time, they should hang him. That's that, get rid of him. Not put him inside for five years. Um, so yeah, I strongly believe in capital punishment. I really do. However, I disagree that our prisons are full of people, um, you know, that did menial sort of silly little things, you know, um, perhaps driving offences or tax evasion offences or, or whatever. Um, sorry, what else did you ask? I'm going off on a tangent there. This is from Joe. Joe says, Brian, what are your thoughts on capital punishment and also recreational drug use and legislation of? Recreational drug use. Um, I'm an ex-junkie, <laughs> you know. Um, 
I really, really enjoyed my drugs. I really, really did. And I took drugs from a teenager right up until my 30s and I really had a good time. Lots of parties, lots of raves and festivals were involved and I absolutely loved it. Never been much of a big drinker, but um, yeah, I loved the drugs, especially acid. Acid was good. Um, I took loads of E's um, and everything else in between from, from down there to up there. I, I did the whole lot. Um, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't, no, I don't necessarily condone drug use. I didn't harm anybody at all, apart from myself, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not promoting or condemning drugs in any way, really. I'm just saying about me. Um, legislation of... It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because if we're talking about legislation, legislation, then we're talking about the police, we're talking about the government, we're talking about officialdom. You get them involved, all sorts could happen, couldn't it, really, you know? Um, should drugs be legalised? No, I don't think they should, not really, you know? I don't think... Um, I'm not really into cannabis and, and marijuana and things like that. I don't like it. It's a dirty, smelly old drug. I don't even like it near me. Anybody who smokes it near me, they can piss off, you know. And I tell people that, you know, I would never let anybody smoke any drugs in here next to me or, or with me. If they want to do it in the garden, then that's fine. You know, it's up to them if that's what they want. I find it mongs you out. You know, your brain is kind of a bit rotten. And I don't like that feeling. I like to have quite a clear mind you know um but you know i think for um illnesses and for pain and for you know basically medical use really um then i think the C cbd oils and what have you should be prescribed by doctors um and there should be in tablet form or sprays or oils or vapes or whatever you know and i think most are now anyway certainly online they are I looked recently, when my ankles were particularly bad one day, I just thought, I'm going to get a vape, because I vape occasionally, as you know, and I thought, I will um, get some vape oil, CBD oil, and give that a good go, you know. Um, but when I looked at the prices of it, I thought, no, sod it. I'm not spending a ridiculous amount of money on it, you know. Um, okay, I suppose if, if I'm pain-free, then that would be wonderful, but there's no uh, guarantees with it, so I didn't really bother in the end. So yeah, um, capital punishment, definitely, you know, bring more in, as far as I'm concerned, you know, for the right crimes. Uh, but do it properly, as I say, three separate jurors, three separate judges, three separate trials. Uh, if found guilty all three times, hang them, kill them, do whatever. Um, Recreational drug use, I think rec recreational drug use, if it doesn't harm other people, I don't see a problem with it. I really don't, you know. I've been to raves and festivals and what have you, and everybody's out there head on ease and they're all tripping away and stuff like that on all sorts of different things. And no problem. Everybody loves each other. Everybody's loving the music. Everybody's having a good time. And there's no harm done. No harm. Maybe the harm is done to the person themselves, but, you know, as an adult, surely you've got the choice, haven't you? You know, some people smoke, some people drink alcohol. Um, you know, some people do dangerous sports or whatever, and it should be up to each individual person to choose um, what's right for them. And who are we to judge anyway, really, you know? I think live and let live. The other thing I would say is I think everything on this planet is for us to enjoy. So if it's a tree, go and climb it. You know, don't harm it, but go and climb it if you, if you want to, you know. Um, and if there's a plant that you know that you can smoke to get a bit of blotto, do it. I think everything here is to be enjoyed. Everything's put on this planet for a reason, and we should make the most of it. Cheers and Joe. Thank you. Be well. I'll be back with another one of my thoughts in a bit. Ta-da